What's up guys, welcome back once again to Trash Film Home Video. Today I'm going to be doing a little first impression thoughts on the on my um, Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale uh, pickups. Um, you know, I don't like to come on here and talk shit about movies. So that's why I'm doing sort of a run through. I'm not going to be doing full reviews on these movies. Um, and it's not that, well we'll get there. Anyway, uh, I won't be talking about Scanner Cop because I've already done the uh, review for it. If you want to check that out, go back and check it out. Um, probably, in my opinion, the best release out of this whole lot that they did. Oh crap, I gotta talk about. I forgot one. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay, let's just get into it. So first, we'll talk about this gorgeous release, 4K release of Six String Samurai. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, just like the Beastmaster set, you know, the magnetic thing, the Harry Potter there hanging out in the sky. Um, Six String Samurai. So this was a low budget sort of first time movie. Um, the film itself looks fantastic on 4k unbelievable probably the best looking 4k that vinegar syndrome has done um the movie itself is just not for me um it's just not something that i find to be that entertaining um i think it was an interesting idea and I thought it was you know the idea itself was executed fairly well um, it's just it's just not a movie for me um, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to keep things just to keep them just because they're from a certain company um, so if it's a vinegar syndrome release that I don't like and I know that I'm not gonna I get rid of it this one's actually already spoken for <laughs> um, it's already gone um, it's not terrible. Uh, I think there are people out there that are gonna, that will enjoy this. Um, but for me, for the price, for um, how many times I will get enjoyment out of this, won't be very many. So, um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's not a bad movie, like I said. It's not a bad movie. It's got an interesting feel and an interesting style. It's just not for me. Uh, up next, Surf 2. Um, <laughs> uh, this one I'm going to keep in the collection just because it's so off the wall and weird. Um, it's a comedy. It's a really goofy, insane 80s comedy. Um, not one I'm going to watch a lot. Um, I have very little patience for extremely stupid comedy. Um, I'm a big fan of like stand-up comedians, uh, so I'm a fan of that kind of comedy, like intelligent comedy. <laughs> and this is fucking ass dumb stupid, ass dumb stupid comedy. That's right. It's so ass dumb stupid, it's got an ass on the back. Um, yeah, I probably won't watch this very much, but this is weird enough and off the wall enough that, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in the collection for a little bit. But definitely not, like, something I'm going to re-watch a bunch. I just don't find it that funny. I know there's probably people out there gasping right now, but it's just not my thing. Let's mix it up here a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm going, like, bad, 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 good, good. <clears throat> up next is Alien from L.A. Um... I enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's a stupid kind of almost a family movie in a way. Uh, a family adventure kind of movie. I don't know. It, it's still odd. It's still kind of off the wall, but um, I enjoyed it. I thought it created a cool little a, a cool atmosphere. Um, you know, the whole idea of this underground city and uh, I thought it was I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it, again, it's not going to be something I watch a ton of. 
Um, but, you know, it's an interesting little slice of 80s movies. Uh, up next is the one that a lot of people are talking about, Champagne and Bullets, uh, a.k.a. Get Even, a.k.a. whatever. I guess the director, who is the main guy here, made like three cuts of this movie. Um, from, <laughs> from obvious... Re for um, from obvious, it's it's. Well, I can't speak. It's very obvious in the movie that this guy just wanted to be in a movie, so he made a movie and he put himself in it and he put a lot of himself in it and he put a lot of himself doing really things that he would never do in real life. And like, I kind of get it, but like, dude, it's really sad. And um, this is very much a so bad it's good. Um. Although I didn't get quite over to the good part. I just got to the so bad part. It's terrible um, You know, it's got William S I was hoping there was gonna be like a documentary on this um, I didn't listen to the commentary Because um, I'd really like to know the story behind this like Where it came from How he got William Smith and Wings Hauser in this I need to know. It's probably on the commentary. I probably should listen to it. Um, I should probably listen to it before I make a final decision on this because I, at this moment in time, I will never watch this again. I have very, I have little to no patience anymore for the So Bad It's Good movies. Um, I've seen a ton of them. And again, like I have no patience for them. If they're terrible and I'm bored, I was so bored watching this. Um, it, it's just not. Not for me. It will click with certain people. Uh, for me, it just didn't. Um, but I am interested in hearing like the story behind it. Like where it came from, how it, start, how it got made. I just want to know. So before I make a final decision as to whether to keep this or not, I need to listen to the commentary and see what happens. Um, Let's go ahead and talk about the next VSA. Probably the VSA that I think is... I'm most unhappy with the cover art. Especially that one. Um, just because it looks like a... Like a really bad comic book. But the movie is great. This is probably... Right behind Scanner Cop on my favorite movies. That they released. Um, it's like exploitation blender like anything and everything you can think of kind of from the ex from exploitation that you think you're gonna get you get in this um, again it would be a great double feature with something like street walking or uh, vice squad um, very streets of LA kind of thing uh, you know she's a martial artist she's cleaning the streets up I had a lot of fun with this one this one's a this one, right behind Scanner Cop, is probably my favorite of the releases. Now, there was a, a... Someone said something about there was missing nudity because of the frame. Like, it was cropped or something. From what I understand, this is the actual correct aspect ratio. So, this is how it was supposed to be seen. I don't know. Uh, but Alley Cat. Uh, up next is... Murder Weapon, Deadly Embrace. Um, now these, where the art on these I think is so good. The movies are so bad. Um, you know, if you're a Linnea Quigley completist, that's probably the only reason I would say pick this up. Uh, it's, it's not for me. It's uh, very, very, very low budget. I think it's David Dakota. Um, and his, his movies for me are hit or miss. Sometimes I find them really entertaining. Sometimes I really hate them. Um, these were just not for me. Um, again, they're kind of slow, kind of boring. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah. This one probably will not be sticking with me. And then finally, Nightmare Weekend. <laughs> um, now you, wanna, you want a movie that's bad, so bad it's good right here this is out there man I'm still not real sure <laughs> what went on in this movie 
but uh, I did have a fun time with it. I did enjoy it. Um, it's out there. It's like these balls, like they go into people or through their mouths and like turn them into basically robots. And I, it's it's out there. It is out there. And there is more naked people in this movie than you can shake a stick at. It is full of nudity and like. I'd never seen it before. Um, you know, this was a trauma acquisition. Um, yeah, it's bad. It's real bad, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of, it's very entertaining. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's out there, man. It is. Uh, it is out there. It's something else. It's something else. Anyway. Other than Walking the Edge, that is everything that I picked up from the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. Oh, no, it's not. Totally forgot about Angel and Amityville Dollhouse. Uh, Angel. See, this is what I do. I don't come prepared at all. We just wing it, wing it here. We, we just, I, yeah. Angel is probably one of my favorite Vinegar Syndrome releases ever. I think it's a great movie. It's a very odd, like, um, it's a story about her 15-year-old hooker, basically. Um, her family just kind of abandons her, and she kind of has to fend for herself. And um, what I really like about this movie is that there's this sort of, like, there's, like, a group of, like, street people that, like, look out for each other, hang out with each other, and... Um, when I say street people, I mean like street performers, hookers, um, things like that. There isn't, uh, the main character does not, there's no nudity at all from her. Um, you never see her have sex with anyone. You see her like in a hotel room right during like something that is probably, it's going to happen, but then something happens in it. Um, it's, there's also a wholesomeness to this when you're talking about like the, the, um, the group of people she hangs out with, the, the, the street gang, street, I don't know. Um, because they really all care for each other and love each other and um, this is one of my favorite. I can't wait to get the rest. I'm, I, I know that the sequels aren't as good, but man, this is, a, this is a great one, honestly. And then Amityville Dollhouse, I'm not gonna find it. Um, it's okay, it's decent. Um, it's, it's, it's fun enough that I'll, I'll, you know, I'll hang on to it. Um, it's got some good effects in it. Um, I do remember that much. But anyway, now that <laughs> is the, everything that I got from the Vinegar Syn Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale and my thoughts on all of them. Um, again... Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Don't know why I keep doing this. I don't know how to end videos. That's something I've noticed. So yeah. That's it. No more. I'm not talking anymore. I'm not doing this. Hey, you think I am? Some sort of clown? Get on here and I sing and dance for you guys? If it was entertaining, I might do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.